I thought it might interest a load of people to do a video on a room HEPA filter because this is essentially the same technology as a gas mask but used to purify the air in an entire room rather than just what's going into your lungs and these are really handy things if you have allergies but as I was saying they're actually interesting because they work in the exact same way as a gas mask filter for the most part or a respirator filter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this one off in a moment we're going to take it apart and look at all the parts in it and as I said, if you're somebody who has dust allergies, pollen allergies, anything like that, you might want to invest in one of these. Because you can get them from anywhere between about 30 and 100 pounds, depending on the size and how much air they blow through them. And they're really, really good. So this is a Silent Night Heaper filter, but this also has charcoal filters in as well. So let's get it open so we can have a look inside. Okay, so this is your basic Heaper unit. And air is brought in through this side and blown out the front by a big sort of tower fan. So let's get the back cover off. And what you have as this first layer is a sponge filter on this side and a HEPA particulate filter on this side. And if you don't know what HEPA stands for, it's High Efficiency Particulate Air. Um, so that's actually quite boring because you think the A might stand for something interesting, but it's just air. But basically it goes in that way. Everything hits the sponge layer first, and then anything that gets through the sponge sticks to the heaper layer. So, the heaper layer is basically what a P3 filter is, a particulate level 3 filter in a gas mask. Uh, very efficient at getting like 99.7% of particulates or something out of the air. So the idea is that you put this on in a dusty room, all the dust gets sucked into this, and then the dust gets stuck in the heaper filter, and it doesn't go into your lungs. But what will interest people who um, like gas masks is the second layer which is activated charcoal so I don't know how well this will show up on the camera but inside this is lots and lots of granules of activated charcoal um, whether or not this will show up well on there I don't know but basically if I put my hand behind it maybe you can see that probably not but this is filled with little granules of activated charcoal so the air blows through the layers of activated charcoal which sit in this kind of grid like that. So the only thing is the activated charcoal doesn't fully fill that grid which you might be able to see there. I'm not sure if that will be obvious on camera. But obviously on repeated pull throughs everything is going to touch the granules of activated charcoal. Um, so this is what gets rid of odours and smells and vapours. Then what you have behind that again is the... Um, basically big fan unit that pulls things through. Now this also has um, an ionizer on it and what that does is it somehow electrically charges the air molecules or particles or something and it means that dust and things are more likely to stick to the inside of it. Some people don't like ionizers because apparently it can do bad things to your lungs if you have it on an enclosed space for too long or whatever but I'm not really too worried about various things like that. So to reassemble it the activated carbon filter goes in first. In theory, you could put them in either way, but like with a gas mask filter, you have the particulate level protection where the air is exposed to first, so dust and things is caught in the particulate layer and doesn't clog up the charcoal as well. Then you get your HEPA filter with the sponge on this way, and that goes on this way, so the sponge faces towards the way the air comes in. So the particles first hit the sponge, then the HEPA particulate filter, then they go through into the activated charcoal layer. So you simply put the cover back on the back. Now the only issue of this is that how it's got these pull tabs to make it easier to pull the bits out, that gets in the way a little bit of the clicky thing. But there we go, it's in there. So there's that reassembled. Now what we'll do is, if that's in frame, switch it back on, turn it on, this one has the, like, the medium power mode as normal, high efficiency mode that you'd keep it on most of the time, and sleep mode where it's really quiet. But obviously, you'd mostly have it on high efficiency because that's not even as loud as a computer fan really, and that blows through quite a lot of air. Now, these would actually be really practical in some sort of NBC CBRN scenario, because if you had one of these flicked on, at least if you had power, that would help be removing irradiated particles from the air in a room or, for example, removing toxic gases. Now, obviously, something this size wouldn't clean an entire room fast enough that you wouldn't die in it, but it means that you could actually have something like this running in a room, you know, to at least make 
some the room's a bit safer if that makes sense. Much better to have it than not have it. But yeah, the exact same technology. There's a HEPA P3 filter there, and as you can see, exact same filter system in here as you'd get in your actual thing. This blocks the particulates. Then obviously you've got your vapor layer in a normal filter second, which is activated charcoal. What's in the air filter in the room? Activated charcoal. So in theory, it's like having a giant gas mask filter and having air being pulled through on a motor to clean the room. So, if you have allergies and you're interested in HEPA filters, they are essentially just giant respirator filters that clean the air of your room. And as I was saying, in some sort of horrible scenario where there might be poison gas in the air, having one of those on is going to be removing poison from the air. Anyway, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to spray a bit of aerosol near it and hopefully you'll be able to see the aerosol get picked up and go into it, but that might not be too obvious on camera, so we'll just have a quick go and see if it works. Right, hopefully there you can see the front of it and the back of it. What I'm just going to do is spray this deodorant into the back and hopefully you should see the stuff go through it. I don't think that's going to be that obvious on camera actually. But what's happening is any of the deodorant that was close enough to the back is actually pulled through and the activated carbon will catch it. And already the smell of the deodorant is dissipating much, much faster than it would if I'd have sprayed that in the normal air. So there you go. Obviously I bought this because I have hay fever and dust allergies and whatever else and it's nice to clean the air in the house. Um, you can see quite immediately if you go into a dusty room and switch it on within a couple of hours, you know, if you look in rays of sunlight or a torch, you can suddenly see that there's not as much dust there, but anyway, that's the Silent Night Air Purifier, but it's essentially a giant gas mask filter powered by a fan, and um, yeah, it's very good if you have need of one, so I thought that might interest some people on here, because it works the same way as the respirator filter.